Good evening everybody, welcome back to another Cart Craft video. Uh, tonight we're going to look at the third and final track of our um, current release of Cart Craft. We're on release 0.1.01435. Uh, latest release was middle of last week. Um, we've had a look at the Geelong and the Go Kart Club of Victoria. And tonight we're going to have a look at PFI. Uh, so we're going to race, jump into the leaderboard mode, select the Iamia X30. PFI Sunny. Now we have got an actual global and a national ranking because I've tried to make this video twice before and uh, the system keeps giving me a fatal error and crashing. So we'll see how we go. 101.195 was our time we managed to secure. Um, so we'll see if we can better that now. We'll jump back in the Formula, X, Formula K X30. I don't think it makes absolutely any difference in my opinion. Um, tried them all out, don't seem to notice any difference in the handling or anything with the chassis options at the moment. So hopefully um, that may come into fruition once the game progresses a little further. Uh, but at the moment I think it's just personal preference. As we select a competitor we're going to race against. So I'd be lucky if I've done six or seven laps here in total at this track. Um, I know the layout of the track, I'm familiar with it, but I haven't done many laps here. Radio. Let's see if we can get a good run on the straight, get a clean lap if we're going to get going. Three tracks I've driven, this would be the, the one that's probably got the most bugs in it, I think. Which might explain why with such a shit lap time. I'm uh, up around 300 globally, which I probably don't deserve. Let's have another crack.
Pero, pues, un mal salido ahí. Suspension, no suspension, rigid frame, you've got to, uh, you can ride those curves a lot harder than you can. Blowing in the breeze. Uh, the uh, officials towards the tower there on the left. Very, very busy little track. Not a lot of time for uh, downtime here. Some more sponsorship, Alpine Star. Deadly by DPE, RA Helmets. People spectating there on the left hand side at the top. Bit of an impound compound here of some kind. Haven't worked out a way yet how to get actually get out of your car. So I believe you can, but maybe not in this early development stage as we enter the pits. Slow down through here, we've got a spot there on the right hand side. Here we can re-exit or re-enter the uh, track area. Scales here. Actually, let's just pop on the scales and see if it gives us a reading. Some kind. Doing the absolute worst thing you probably do and driving onto the scales. Stopped. No, no reading. Quick explore the pits just to shed around here. Of this little compound, we are back to the outgrid. Noticeable noise difference in there. Been in there before, it's a prick to get out of, so we're not going to go in there now. It's just a drinks machine and a grandstand. Right, PFI actually scans for Paul Fletcher International Circuit. Didn't know that, so we've learned something new. Through here under the Litchfield Bridge. Curve there on the right and send you skyward. Plenty 
of rubber and uh, marble there on the exit of the corner. And that looks like it's a, uh, a lap of the track. Alright guys, wasn't overly exciting. But uh, anyway, that's a quick look at the track for now. We didn't find any anything quite as exciting as what we did over at Todd Road, but uh, we've had a look around. Um, couldn't manage to put in a, a decent lap time without getting it tonight, so for now we might have found our limit. Um, need to play with these steering wheel settings quite a bit more and try and fine tune the thing, because at the moment, I'm sure you can hear the force feedback jumping around like a frog in a sock. So, um, We've got to fine tune that. So, if you're running Logitech gear G27 or 920 or something like that, and uh, you've got some settings that seem to be working for yourself, leave me a comment below. Um, we'll have a look at them. We might do another video shortly and look at the actual settings I've got. Um, it might help someone out, or uh, in a good or a bad way, it might give them a clear indication of where to go or where not to go. But on that guys, we'll call it quits there. Um, as I say in all my videos, thanks for watching and bye for now.